All right, segment 17, here we go. So we're in segment 17. Another rough night of listening to coyotes hunting in the middle of the night. Waking us up, sounding like a bunch of wild jackals. Camera battery had died yesterday, somewhere after Sergeant's Mesa. So we didn't get anything done for a couple hours in there. We were getting chased by a couple of thunderstorms and didn't want to stop and pull out a new battery and once we got to where we were going to camp last night it was kind of a bust we wanted to go to this place called baldy lake a half mile downhill about 400 feet and off the main trail we thought that would be a real neat place to go to, especially since it was the best water source in the area. We get down there, and granted there's plenty of water, there's like next to nowhere to camp. There's probably two or three decent campsites around this lake. They were taken, and the rest of the lake, it's just, well, like, the rest of the area we're in now it's been segments 16 and 17 really the beetle kill is just horrible you gotta try to find a place to camp and if you find a flat spot that looks real nice then you gotta look at the trees around you if there came a good wind or anything half of them are just gonna fall over and we're not comfortable with sleeping under a tree that's going to fall over. So it's been hard to find a place to camp. And you get in places like this and you're like, oh, I'll just sleep in the meadow here. So it's been a rough couple of days. Woke up in the middle of the night twice. Hard finding a place to camp. Long stretches without water. Trail conditions, uh, I mean, right now they're not bad, but it's been really rocky and loose sandy soil on the downhills, really hard to go down. So we're kind of anxious to get to Highway 114 and hopefully get into Gunnison, pick up our resupply and let our bodies relax a little bit. It's actually a really pretty morning <laughs> after a rough couple of days of hiking, so hopefully today will be a lot better. We're beat up and tired. Just a prime example of the beetle kill. These, what used to be Lush, dense forests are just dead. <laughs> it's too bad. I mean, they'll eventually fall and become part of the earth and start over. We see young trees here and there popping up, which is nice. You know, the regrowth will happen, not in our lifetime. But you can't come and camp in these places. If there were any storms or high winds overnight, any one of these trees could just come tumbling down. And we heard one one night, oh, I don't remember, several segments ago, <laughs> in the middle of the night we heard a tree pop and fall over of course we weren't camped anywhere near anything like that but it definitely 
kind of makes you stop and think, well, I just, you know, just don't want to take any chances. You don't want to be under that one. So I would say that the beetle kill has certainly changed hiking the Colorado Trail as far as looking for a place to camp for the night. It's changed the scenery, no doubt. But moreover, it just seems to have changed where can you stop? Where can you take shelter? Where can you camp? That's a big meadow. Looks like we're about to drop into the woods again. What's going on back there? Just a walking. Well, in today's trail news, yeah. on the AM edition, we witnessed several chipmunks oh, they were great. rolling around in the dirt, having a great time which was wonderful entertainment for us. Reminded us of our little Mia back home rolling around on the couch. I miss her too. Um, in other news, we're actually walking on a semi-level surface that is not rocky. It is actually quite nice. Yes. Yesterday was tough. Let's hope it keeps up. Uh, I changed my socks this morning. Oh. Uh, my socks were, uh, well, when I took them off, a big dust plume would come off every time. <laughs> I saw that. They were feeling a little, uh, shall, we, shall we say, crunchy. It's time for them to go in the wash. Yeah, everything needs to go in the wash. Uh, yeah, well, I need to go in the wash. That's true. Uh, what else? What, what, what other kind of news do we have today? I liked the cows yesterday. Lots of cows. They were great. You wanted one to come and lay in your lap and take a nap with you. Would that not be nice? Put his little head in my lap and I could scratch his nose. That would be the, great. The cows were definitely entertaining. Yep. Uh, we've seen several deer. We keep, well, obviously we said it before. We're assuming they're coyotes. We're really not sure, but... Ooh, they sound really crazy. Uh, that middle of the night strange crazy yodel howl thing uh just kind of weird and eerie <laughs> and they're close they're not far away you know it's not like a distant echo or anything it's you definitely hear it like it's nearby yeah very nearby so that's kind of been weird uh, not 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 good on the sleep they sound like a wild bunch of hyenas or jackals or something we're not sure <laughs> Other than that, we're walking, logging miles. And the trail this morning, so far, after the downhill and getting away from the Mount Baldy area, it's been quite pleasant. You could walk on a trail like this all day long. See which side of this ridge we're gonna drop in. Drop to the left or drop to the right. <laughs> or maybe we'll just follow it straight out and down. This is like the third five, six hundred foot climb we've done in the past couple hours. Well, hopefully we're done climbing and headed down to Highway 114. It's been pretty ruthless last couple hours. You just 
500, 600 feet. Level off for a little bit and back up again. And we get up on top here. You can see it through the trees there. We'll see if we're able to dodge another thunderstorm. Yesterday we were right on the edge of a couple of doozies. We got rained on just a little bit. They were pretty menacing. A lot of thunder and lightning off in the distance. We just kept pushing and hoping they'd track away from us. Let's see if we get lucky again. This one's been rumbling for a little while. We were tracking away from it, now we're tracking at it. <laughs> Hopefully we'll track back away from it again. Apparently we're at the 300 mile mark. Woohoo! Okay. Says 300. Well, we got off the ridge. Right as that lightning was kicking. But it decided to start raining on us. And we're road walking. So, let's see how far we get with this. Well, that was like a five second tent pitch. We probably look like hell. I would say we do. The rain just started coming down more ferocious. Umbrellas, wind. Now we gotta get in the tent. Now we're pitched on the side of a hill. Not sure what it's doing out there. Sure, it's raining away. It looked like it was socked in pretty good, so I don't know how long it'll last. Reach. The storms continue. We've been left to backgammon in the tent, waiting. Back to road walking. Hopefully a bulk of this storm is gone and we can get down to the highway. We're trying to get a ride into Gunnison. It would be really, really, really spectacular to get a ride and get into Gunnison and get a warm place to stay for the night. Clean up our mess. <laughs> we got wet and muddy quick on that one. It was bound to happen eventually. We dodged the two storms yesterday, so... Odds were in our favor that one of these was gonna get us. Having fun back there? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's cold. It is cold. That temperature dropped fast. Oh. I can only imagine if we'd have been up on that ridge, it probably would have been hailing on us and everything else. Oh. <sighs> Good thoughts for a ride into Gunnison. Highway 114. Let's see if anybody will feel sorry for a couple of middle-aged mad hippies and give us a ride to Gunnison.